Hey, this is Trolls from ATO, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating our Adagietto long notes. We have a gorgeous section of rather different long notes. We have traditional sustains. We have the best patch in the world, in my opinion, like our Sedino sustains. Uh, we have four different types of dynamic bowings that I also demonstrated in another video. And of course, we've got trills and tremolos and all that stuff. And on top of that, it's not just that we have the ensemble patches, but we also have all these things broken down in each string section. So if you want your dynamic bowings or sustains or sedinos, whatever, for your cellos or your violas, uh, then it's all broken down as well. But right now, uh, I want to focus a little bit on our traditional sustains. And as I said, we both have a regular sustain and a sedino sustain. I'll come back to the sedino. sort of a nice overall tone. Um, we also ensured that with the Dajero, we really got some punchy, more fatissimo stuff. It's better for like pop and rock stuff, but really if you just want to get your pad strings in, there's a, there's a nice punch once you get a little up in dynamics. Watch this button here. <laughs> it's funny, it still sounds so midi with the pad stuff, but uh, that's why we got legato. And check out our other video as well, uh, where we go into uh, the more delicate legato parts. Obviously, when you just play pad like that, uh, it is what it is uh, without the legato sections, but it's great for pop stuff. Let me just play one more thing here with the, with the regular sustains, and I'll try to sort of mod wheel myself through the different dynamic layers. And as you can see down in this note here, I was holding it down throughout the whole chord progression. That's another great trick. You sort of blur the transitions a little more. Uh, but that's traditional sustains. Let me go down here to what I think is the best string patch, and especially for pet composers like myself, the, the best possible patch for strings. It's our Sudino, our muted string sustains. And I think it's about as perfect as you can get a patch without legato. Like the breath in those strings, I think it's so beautiful. Um, and as you can see here, I also use the dynamics a lot. Um, always ensure that you use your CC1 and CC11 in particular, trying to, to do real sort of expressive strings. Uh, let me try to play just, <laughs> I, I just can't stop myself. Uh, let me try to play just another um, thing here and I'll try to go through the dynamics again because there's a really beautiful body both in the lower and sort of more intense parts of the Sedino sustains. I think there's, there's something magical about the lower notes in Sedino as well as commonly sort of regard, you think about Sedino, you think about the higher ends, but I think there's a, there's a beautiful body. Uh, let me try to play just a little in the higher ranges here as well and just see how we capsulated that air. You know, we've always talked about air in string libraries and I think this is a good example of what it actually is. And as you may know, Adagetto also contains individual sections. So let's say that I wanted the Sedino I just played, but not for the full string ensemble, but maybe just for the violas. Essentially, Adagetto is broken into all the different volumes. So you have your, let me see here, you have your ensemble up here, and then you got all the individual sections, and you can see we have the Sedino sustains down here as well, so you can load them. Uh, let me just try to demonstrate what they actually sound like, because they're gorgeous um, as well. And it's a great thing if you really want to get a little more into the elaborate writing to start isolating sections. You don't, it doesn't get so patty, and you, you get a little more individual tone in the in the sound. And it's nice with that isolation. You can almost hear sort of the individual players and the individual vibrato a little more on the right side here. Um, let me also show you our tremolos. Of course, we got um, the traditional tremolos and trills as well.
Last but not least, uh, let me also try to demonstrate a little more with our dynamic bowings here. We have another video dedicated to this, but I want to show a few more tricks in this video. One of the common questions we get about dynamic bowings is the ability to make it sort of sit with your composition. Obviously, there is an arc, sort of an emotional arc, uh, a PFP type of arc to a lot of the different um, dynamic bowings and how do you match that to your composition. And it's pretty simple actually. We have a dedicated directory to all the time machine patches. So you can see the dynamic bowings down here. Um, in the time machine directory as well. So you just load them and it says TM for time machine and PB for pitch bender. And the pitch bender actually controls all the different um, things you can do with it. So we both have time stretching and time compression. So in essence, when you move the pitch bender to the right, it'll time compress the sound. And when you move it to the left, it'll time stretch the sound. <laughs> gonna try to play a little bit more here I just I love these guys so can't help myself And I cannot stress enough how important the dynamic bowings is. Obviously in Adagio, the full string library, we have over 120 different varieties of them. And they're just things that cannot be done. And sort of goes back to what I said in the beginning of the video with the emotional investment. Uh, you can try all day long to mud wheel yourself out of this with a normal sustain. And perhaps I should I should try to do a comparison, but there's nothing like it. And on these, um, this particular CD here, we actually have a two bow note as well. So there's one stroke and as they hit the top of the arc, they sort of go back in the bow. Another part about it is that there's a beautiful sound in the depth on the note. If you want to go in, in the deeper notes, there's such a rich, beautiful performance. And I think it's often disregarded because we tend to focus on the higher notes. That's where the, what the brain is caught to towards the melodies and all that. But just try to check out the body here in the lower part of it. And of course, um, as well, as I mentioned in the beginning, we have isolated sections also for the dynamic bowings here. So let me just try to play a little bit. I'll try to play the same thing I just did, but just with the isolated cello sedinos. Right, and I think the party is going to stop here. Also, feel free to check out our other Adagietto videos where we're demonstrating the, our dynamic bowings, our short notes, and of course, our beautiful legatos. My name is Trolls. This was 8 Dios Adagietto. Thanks for watching.